Hi friends, this is Charlie Alakoy, Tucson, Arizona. I wanted to create what I hope will be a series of videos on my nature walks and bikes. Uh, I really appreciate living in the Sonoran Desert and I just wanted to share that with uh, people who uh, might be interested in what life is like out here in Tucson. Um, on this particular trip I started off uh, on the river road section of what we call the loop. Uh, they changed the name to Huckleberry something recently but I still call it the loop. It's uh, well over well over a hundred miles I think a hundred and seventy miles maybe of, of multi-use paved path that uh, is for bicyclists and any non-motorized vehicles and pedestrians. So uh, right off the beginning of this video, I uh, was on this uh, bridge and noticed a hawk in the distance. And I got out my big camera and filmed it. And it was very far out in the distance. And it made a beeline right for me. And it was very clear to me, based on the terrain and where it was hovering, and how it flew right over my head that it was reacting to my presence in some way I suppose just curious about me and uh, I got a good real good look at it and it was a red-tailed hawk I could tell by what they call the belly band it's a band that's a band of uh, darker area that it looks like a belt around its waist so after that, I uh, proceeded north on River Road, and uh, over there in the distance you can see the Catalina Mountains. Um, that's uh, where the sun rises, and we get some of the most wonderful sunrises you'll ever see out here. It's a little industrial looking in this section of the loop. I'm riding along uh, River Road. You can kind of see that to my right. Uh, it's uh, one of the busier roads in Tucson. And uh, over there, a little to the left in the distance, you can see uh, Sombrero Peak, which is uh, a very pretty mountain, and it's kind of the general area that I live in. Um, and the National Park is over that way too, or the uh, eastern portion of the uh, Saguaro National Park. We have uh, the National, the Saguaro National Park is split into two sections, uh, Saguaro Park East and Saguaro Park West, and Sombrero Peak over there in the distance is part of some uh, Saguaro National Park West. And so I'm kind of driving along, riding along on my bicycle, and to the left there you can see uh, gravel pits. And I, I just rode past what I was pretty sure was a American kestrel. They used to call them chicken hawks. So I turned around hoping that uh, I, uh, he would it would still be there for me to photograph with my bigger camera. So I rode up there and inched along hoping not to startle it and sure enough it was still sitting in that tree and I got a few seconds of nice video of a American kestrel which you'll see here in just a second kind of make it out, just a little dot of a thing in the center of the uh, video there. And as soon as the picture-in-picture picture pops up, you'll get a better view of it. There we go. That's the American Kestrel, blue and orange. Uh, one of the smaller raptors 
Um, and there she goes. There he goes. That's a male. Um, flying off over there towards the gravel pit. Gorgeous bird. Um, I don't see them terribly often, but um, they, uh, but, you know, I'll see one maybe once a month or so if I'm out enough. This was a very cold morning, very windy. It was not the best day to be on a ride on a bicycle, um, but I uh, made uh, obligations to meet my daughter here in town, and um, so I was kind of committed to do it. And that's the reason I'm kind of re-recording my voiceover on this video uh, here from home because the wind was so bad that my voice was just almost totally drowned out from the thing and you would have just been really annoyed listening to uh, me trying to yell over the top of the wind plus those cars on the right don't help much either so so there's that so um, just a little background on me. I'm, uh, I've been living in Tucson for 10 years. I was born in California, uh, raised in Illinois, and uh, met my wife here in Tucson and been pretty happy here. And um, I uh, work from home with, uh, I have a freelance um, kind of um, artist slash 3D designer slash illustrator slash photographer. Um, I do fairly well with my business. Not any one portion of my business is enough to sustain me, but when I combine all those different things I do, I make a pretty good living at it. And uh, it affords me the time to do things like this, get out there in nature and uh, enjoy being out when everyone else is at work at their jobs. Um, not saying that in the way that to be bragging is, to, I'm just saying it in the sense that it allows me to be out when there's not a lot of people out. And uh, being the introvert that I am, that uh, I uh, enjoy uh, just having the roads mostly to myself. So here I am crossing Orange Grove Road on the loop. Still uh, heading north and uh, it still still was pretty noisy and uh, the, actually the wind here wasn't as bad because I had it to my back but it was still noisy and uh, just um, I didn't really uh, run into any more interesting nature here but I'll just keep this video running a little bit just so you can get an idea of the terrain and uh, it does get a little more um, rural uh, up ahead a little bit once uh, I got away from River Road, the, the uh, uh, loop crosses the wash, which is to my left, and uh, at that point you get away from the road and it gets a little quieter. So um, this road doesn't change much for a while. Um, it stays kind of more like you're riding in the city, but eventually if you keep riding north, it uh, gets much more rural and more out in nature and quieter and uh, much more pleasant than for me personally that section of the loop. That's about it for this one. Saw a couple of interesting birds and I hope you enjoyed it. So that's about it. That was my day. How was yours? I hope it was a great one.